It's a beautiful day here in on the road to where Perdition. are we going? For hell. For uh, don't tell me, don't tell me. Foreside. E. We gotta go back to three. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Sorry. Just walk away. Nope. This is happening. These fools tried to front on me. And now they will learn the error of their ways. Uh... I, I'm, I'm so done with these enemy designs. Yep. I'm sick of that weird cactus. The cactus man is at least... I mean, we haven't seen much of that yet, but... I, I mean, I'm so done with little sprout and mushroom. That. Good. Get that out of here. Yep. Don't need it. That was a waste of 14 PP. Anyway, so we're on episode 22. Yes, we're all up in that double deuce. Oh. Gosh, has it really been 22 episodes? The time, how you know the time friend. flies. You know it has been. Don't lie to me. I wonder in what way interacting with those butterflies. Yeah, yeah. 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 They're just so, so easy are you to just, kill now that, that... Are you just way more powerful than they are? Yeah, we, we leveled up like three or four times last episode. Ranbu! And plus, they, they all run away from us now, so we get to drop on them every time. Yeah. But, but rather... Rather counterintuitive strategy, I suppose. <laughs> or rather, it, it is entirely intuitive and. It's just totally the, ineffective. The effective strategy would be counterintuitive. Yes. Which would be to charge you head on. Yeah. In, in hope of, you know, getting a decent attack off before they died. But in fleeing, Kamikaze. they expose their rear. As butts often do. That was dumb, and I apologize. Well, now we have to start all over. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> You've sullied our pristine new episode with your asinine humor. For shame that you would defile a children's cartoon with evil thoughts. That was a Speaking reference of to the children's critic. cartoons, I was talking to you earlier about uh, Girls Bravo. Oh man, it's a good show. You should watch it. <laughs> What's going so on? When here? I say good, I mean pornographic. Mm, that's the best kind of good. Yeah, I mean those two terms are pretty much synonymous, right? As far as I'm concerned, yes. Uh, it's not really pornographic. It's it's very um. It's it's, tame. it's a it's it's what's the word I'm looking for? It's a romp. Is I think uh, the best way to describe it. Fair enough. And you get a you get a good boom here and there. Yeah. And as, as, as far as you have told me, ain't none of these ladies on the Itty Bitty Titty Committee. Which is the no, worst of all committees. Not a one of them. And that, I, I would be surprised if that organization even had a presence in. <laughs> <laughs> they sent their representatives and were sternly rebuffed. I'm Jane the Smith. Administration of Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> they tossed the IBTC up out of the tower. <laughs> Mr. Sanger, get out of my way. <laughs> but, uh, so I've discovered this show on my, after my recent, uh, decision, uh, to exonerate Netflix. Oh, yeah, you... So it cut him a little slack. Yeah, they... They did me wrong when they got rid of their DVD service way back when, and... As if I understand it, they have pretty thoroughly learned their lesson. 
And quite frankly, I'd rather have the streaming service anyway. Yeah. I can, I can sort it of... Contin hold on, I can, I can sort of jimmy up on this... <laughs> no, no. <laughs> work that, work that Saturn man. Do it. <laughs> yeah! Oh, Rob, you're is... blocking the shot! <laughs> If 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 you, if you keep doing if you keep acting like this, we're gonna get stuck again. <laughs> then what are you gonna do? <laughs> At least you won't have lost like an hour of progress like we did last time. <laughs> <sighs> but you'll be stuck in Saturn Town. <laughs> A fate surely worse than death. Death isn't even that bad. You don't even lose your money. Speaking of money. Oh, we have all this friggin' money, garbage. Money! Money! That is an outrage. A demand. <laughs> Stop. You, Saturn Man. Breathe is so good. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> sure. Fair enough. I guess. So, uh... This is a town where you might want to buy bottled water. <laughs> or you'll get Mr. Saturn's Revenge. <laughs> the Saturnalian trots. Alright, let's peace up out of- I've, I've had just about enough of Saturn Town. <laughs> I had enough three episodes ago. <laughs> this bug is going to continue to try to front on me. Prepare yourself, Violet Roach, for total destruction. Uh. Yeah. Great. Roaches. Why can't these roaches be suitably like... terrified of me? Uh, did you hear that? That. No, it was like somebody moving a chair across a tile floor. No. Huh. Maybe, maybe it must have been. I don't know what that was. Are there deadly spiders in your house? Oh yeah, but they usually don't make sounds like that. They sound more like. <laughs> oh man, I uh, on my way home from work the other day, I got a, I was uh, heading out of the parking lot in my truck, and a spider descended on a on a on a string of silk directly in front of my face. And, uh, I'm not afraid to tell you, I damn near crashed my truck. Like, that came dude. desperately close to wrecking my vehicle. Tr and I had to, like, I, I hit it, and it flew away. I didn't know where it went, so I had to, like, stomp on the brakes, and put it in park, and jump out. And I pulled out my flashlight, and I found it, I killed it. And I... It was horrifying. Was it a large spider? It was a spider of moderate size. What, what is moderate? I mean, okay, so, like, like on the nail. one hand... Like, maybe. The whole thing was maybe, like, if it spread its legs way out, it would probably be able to touch the edges of a quarter. That... that's... that's pretty ridiculous. Man. I was horrified. I mean, the injury you would have incurred from a spider bite is so significantly less than the injury you could have incurred by crashing your vehicle that... I mean... Fuck spiders. They need to not I get mean, in the uh, truck. Obviously, it was a, a, a gut reaction, and, yeah. and you did, but, uh, you know, it's like, gosh... Well, when, it's not like I started swerving actually... the wheel around, but I was just like... <gasps> freeze up, stomp on the brakes. Oh, right. Just, just ah. Um, on the other hand, the other day, I was, uh, on I-35, yeah. and I was getting on 67, and, uh, you know, I, like, for some reason, I, like, couldn't tell if there was somebody in, in the, to the right of me. I had to move over one lane to get into 67, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so I was like looking over my shoulder. I'm like, is there someone there? Is there someone? And uh, I spent so long doing that that uh, 
when I looked back forward, I realized I had swerved over into like the white, the like V shape. Oh um, God! And I was about I was about to hit the curb, so I swerve over to the right real quick, uh, too quick. I go in, uh, I I you know uh go into a spin. Uh, oh, the Jesus. back of the car screeches, you know, I do about a 720 into the median, and, uh, well, I, I eventually, you know, I, I, I just d generally direct the car into the median, because I'm like, no, I'm crashing, I need to crash off of the road. Y yeah. So, um, I do that, didn't crash, I mean, it was, it was fine, I just, I drove right off of it, but I'm scared the ever-living piss out of me. Right now. Yeah. I was like, oh my god. I'm, mean, you know, kind of like... Yeah. Life flashing for your eyes. Also, we're back in, like, three zone, and... Yeah, fuck it's, three. It's no longer Who full are these of... people? Yeah, what's up, lady? Peace and happiness back to three. Peace... Oh, great, now they're all hippies. You will. The, this is the town where there was a, uh, a, a, a living tent? Yes. Which we... Like stumbled into and then murdered effortlessly. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Murder yeah. in that tent. I like this guy. He's a man of few words. Also, possibly watching way too many Ace Ventura movies. <laughs> also, Wait, the number. When did Ace... Uh, mm. I was in like elementary school when the first one came out. So. Oh yeah, I I know it was before I was in the fifth grade. 93, so. maybe? 94? We've been around the same time Gosh. as this game. Anyway, check out that kid in the helmet. <laughs> What's his deal? Uh. Hey, hey buddy. Hat. Sweet! That's all he's got to say. I'm sick of you, kid. Okay. Three's architecture got classier too. Huh. They Oh no. What? Don't don't go in the tent. I'm I'm going Actually go tent. in the tent. See if there's a band playing or whatever. <laughs> oh God! <sighs> Damn it. See now he's just peeping through fences at me. Okay, photographic genius, how about you get on the other side of the fence? <laughs> he's not even taking pictures of us, he's taking macro shots of bugs inches in front of his <laughs> lens every time. He's talking to the bugs. We're the assholes here, because we're photobombing his bug photographs. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna get all these photographs at the end of the game, and we're gonna realize that they're all just, yeah. We're, we're like, barely in the frame. <laughs> He's really into depth and field effects and things like that. We're just all blurry. And... He uses an enormous aperture, so he has a razor thin depth of field. A sixteenth of an inch of your nose is in focus, and the rest of you is an incomprehensible blur. <laughs> I hate this photograph. I hate, I hate pretty much everything about that guy. I hate his smelly face. I hate this stupid goddamn hat. Oh, we should we should uh see if we can avail ourselves of more sensible equipment for Ness and Naomi. Or Lars okay. and Naomi. Time to sit back and take like four and a half hours to do this stuff, yeah. Yeah. Let's manage uh... our inventory. There's nothing I love more than inventory management. Yeah. I feel like I'm playing Mass Effect 1 again. Oh. Of course, there, there are some cool... I wish this game were like uh, that Resident Evil game where you had to, you know, you had to play Tetris with your with your briefcase <laughs> or whatever. That that was pretty cool. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, let's get rid of this hard hat. Great. Yeah. I'd like to sell you something. Okay. Uh, I'm done with this bomb. 
Yep. What happens to, to quest items when you use them up? Do you always give them away? Um, no, because we, we still have that Franklin badge. I, I put them in. I put some of that stuff in storage. Like, you still have the uh, backstage pass. You sure don't need that anymore. Yeah, I'll, I'll call up the, uh, the service and send it away. But you can't sell that? I don't think so. Oh, well, we try. I mean, that, con that concert is over. I don't know who would buy it. Nope, they can't buy it. Yes, I'd like to buy something. I'd like a stout frying pan, please. Remember, no more slingshots. Yeah. All bats. All bats and frying pans all the time. Goddamn bats. <laughs> Isn't that a TV tropes thing? Yes. Goddamn bats. Well, it's like, because the first, the first enemy in any... In any sort of game, like not this one, I guess. This one had bees, <laughs> but usually you know bats. Yeah. Final Fantasy game, bats. Pokemon, bats. zoo bats. Don't don't molly the issue with your fancy semantics. <laughs> zoo bats or bats. You're always right? muddying up the issue with your fancy semiotics word which I, to this day, do not understand. Yeah, semantics is a branch of semiotics, thank you very much. Your mom's a branch of semiotics. Badass. Yeah, that just happened. Uh, this is the dumbest conversation I've I am undone! <laughs> you bastard. I am defeated. Hated foe. Else. I need more button prompts, please. Yes. Let's... Just, just, just sell me a thousand button prompts. <laughs> I'd like two boxes of quick time events, please. <laughs> they don't have to be for this game. You know, whatever. Just whatever's in stock. Give me that die-hard arcade game, please. Yes. Okay. You All like right. buying in booster packs. Alright, I got an FMV sequence in this one. <laughs> A holographic FMV! This backstage pass. Yes. Uh, take this pack of bubble gum. Get this bad key machine out of my life. Yup. Yup. That is one bad key machine. Shut your mouth! I'm just talking about the key machine. No, seriously, shut the hell up. Done. Do not stand in the street. <laughs> Look both ways. Up. Oh. Get on that Hi. bus. What are you doing? No! What? Uh. Well. Get on that bus that is apparently the size of a smart car. <laughs> Look at that man's enormous head jetting out of the tiny window. Yeah. Whoa. I don't want to go to Tucson. I want to go to friggin'... Yeah. I've yeah. been to Tucson. Yeah. I love Tucson. Yeah. It's great. They... It's a town full of, like... Aspiring artists. Huh. Who all came to Arizona because the landscape is beautiful. And they all paint like cowboys and things like that. You know? Well. I, I just used a bunch of, uh, like, absolutes, and that's... that. It's the <laughs> phone, man. What are you think? Uh, just, uh... Mom? <laughs> I'm trapped in mid-stride by my ringing cell phone. <laughs> Oh, hey, Dad. Oh. Hey, Dad. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking about, no. you know, coming home at some point. <laughs> but, uh, nah. Later. Look. I haven't gone to school in about, you know, three months, but I'm sure no one Whoa. they haven't noticed What's going yet, on right? with this guy? Hey. You could breathe easier if you didn't have that nose ring, buddy. Also, those 
fangs, I guess. Oh no, he's a doctor. Look, he's got the red cross on his chest. This guy's all right. Oh. He was he was a medic he's in the army. He's respectable. Yeah. Oh, he's a classy old doctor, doctor, new doctor. <laughs> hey, hey, you talking to my girl? Hey, hey, hey. Whoa. Oh god. Oh, he's got surplus ladies. I would Touch go to a store called Surplus Ladies. <laughs> of the bee's knees, you say. Is it or is it not the cat's pajamas? Uh, I guess we're just gonna have to hoof it. Is one of the letters on that sign for three backwards? I certainly hope so. Nope. No, never mind. I thought that R was backwards or something. <laughs> HAL Laboratory. Good Wait, old... Wait, Mount... So we are in Japan. Yeah. Oh. Oh. If there are ghosts here, I'm gonna be pissed. Uh, yeah, I'd be pretty pissed too. Like, if there were ghosts anywhere, I'd be pissed. Yeah. I'm, I'm just mad about the, the, the existence of ghosts. I am just so sick of ghosts. In fact, I'm just mad pretty much all the time for no reason. Fuck literally everything. Especially Sick. ghosts. Uh-oh. What? Uh-oh. We're all sweating. Is, is there music playing, or is this, like, sound chip bugging out or something? <laughs> Check out this sign! <laughs> <laughs> hear this music a little bit for a second. Oh, sorry. Not not this music. Yeah, this music we'll, sucks. We'll hear it. We'll, we'll, we'll hear it in, in a in a little while. Yeah. Buy a book. They have Catcher in the Rye. Uh, oh, no, I don't want to sell anything. Shut up. I like to buy something. I hate all these things. Goodbye. I hate you. Sir. See if they have the decline and fall of the Roman Empire. <laughs> Ooh, they have superior... superior bats. We will purchase them. Done. Well, I'm glad we bought that other bat just a second ago. Whatever. Got plenty of money. You know. We might as well start just throwing change at people. Yeah, I'm a kid and I'm carrying around $9,500. By the way, I, I again forgot to look at the time before we started this. You fool. Yeah. You've killed us. Well, I, I, actually, I, I, I remember it was about... It was about 11.50 when we started. Alright. So we're almost at the 30 minute mark. Okay. I want to get far enough to have like another. I, I want to know find out what's going on dungeon. in four side. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not. I'm not tired or anything. We might as well keep going. Yeah. Nope. I'm good, homie. Let's see what this guy's got to sell. Have you called your mom recently? Hey, yeah, I called her before we left uh, Saturnalia. Uh. Let me get a couple of refreshing air. What do those wet towels do? Cool you off. It seems accurate. They were just dry towels, but they're used. <laughs> Ugh. They're just gross towels. Alright, Naomi. Get a couple of refreshing herbs in case we run anything weird. I'll get a wet towel. 
for everybody. Does it say what it does? Oh, uh, I guess I'll have to check. Oh wow, look at all that inventory space that Rob Z's got got hopping. I, I'm thinking it probably has some, like a out when you go outside and you start sweating, you might get dehydrated at some point and a wet towel will straighten you out. Yeah. And give Rob Z two of them. Uh You know, picnic lunch, whatever. You know, a little basket, some some oranges, a couple of sandwiches. Wet towel. A ham sandwich. And this one is, you know, tuna salad, but I hate tuna salad, so somebody else has to eat that one. I don't want to eat tuna salad in the desert. I'm just gonna tell you straight up. It looks like we, bizarrely, it looks like we stop sweating when we're on the road. Hmm. Who's that fool? Hello, madam. That was a traffic jam. <laughs> That's the world's longest traffic jam? Yeah, these four cars. <laughs> I heard that one buffalo. doesn't even have a front wheel. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Did you see that thing? Yeah, it just, like, sort of busted out. It's, uh... Hello there, sir. <laughs> I'm not what you need. This dude's just yeah. hanging out in the desert selling zip guns and bombs. Hey, yo. Fireworks. It's gonna be Rob. Yeah. Oh, no. That's worse. I'm gonna sell this bullcrap back to him. I don't know how much you get. This is like... Whatever. That's about half what it costs. Yeah, still a lot. Yeah, plenty of money. Goods. Uh oh, we need to equip that legit weapon for him again. Yeah. With that laser cannon. Do you hear a beeping? Yeah. Like a ra- it sounds like a- like a radar or something. Yeah, just beep 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 beep! Or not a radar, a, a telegram. Hey, it's that guy! Oh! Oh, Jesus, oh, it's no. that guy. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Oh. Uh... Wait, that UFO is wearing a bow. It's a UFO. Uh, cute little UFO. It's a crested buka. It's a buka. 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 Ha! Shazam! That wasn't very hard. I like it when we're uh over level. Over yeah. It's like not not all this is trivial. Of course, we still have to do it, but... Yeah, cool, so we can beat down these enemies with reasonable efficacy. A boiled egg, alright! When did we get all these levels? I don't remember what we did that level was up so... Coo 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 Keep our paradise exists beneath that hole. Now, uh, you want to avoid that hole, I tell you what. <laughs> Thank you, Hank. Boy, you got to stay out of that hole, I tell you what. <laughs> I tell you what. Please don't. Oh. Oh. What the hell is that? I don't know what it is, but it's going down. Said crap! You're, you're over leveled for this. Did stuff. you see? Man. We just got ten thousand experience points a pop. Lord have mercy. 
Wait, what did that skeleton say? <laughs> I'm just a pile of bleach oh. bones. I can't talk. There's just two bodies out here in the desert. That's pretty much what I would have expected. Yeah. I'm worried Keep that we're going... Her oh. Eyes. oh, it's a beach. That's not too bad. Oh god, Lars has heat stroke. A Use double a burger? Alright. <laughs> Use a towel. Ah! Don't fight the scorpion. It's too late. It's a scalpion, idiot. <laughs> it's a ridiculous pun, you say. <laughs> so is Lars just gradually losing health? Yeah, uh, it appears that being um, sunstroked is uh, essentially the same Stri as being poisoned. Stricken? Some, oh some god, what the hell is that? Oh god! Uh... Oh no, it brought homies. There's a smiling sphere. Some kind of probe droid. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hit it very hard, I must have a self destruct. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. Holy crap! Smiling spear. Oh god. Oh god. This is disastrous. Run. That sphere exploded! Oh Jesus. No! <laughs> Lord have mercy, Andrew. This is a disaster. I know, this went real, real... This went south real fast. We need to get the hell out even, of here. I don't even know what just happened. Go back to drugs. <laughs> you didn't even get as much experience from that as you got from just touching that caterpillar. Yeah. Oh! Damn it! Oh crap. That was the yeah, oh, well. Run. Negative. Fuck you guys. Ugh. Oh, oh yeah. That's why we hated that thing. God, that noise. It wasn't that it was so tough, it was that it made a terrible screech. An unspeakable racket. A brain liquefying screech. <laughs> Which would be a pretty cool pow- oh. I'm going into the hole. Don't, don't. Avoid the hole! <laughs> like the Noid, the hole is to be avoided. <laughs> what <laughs> is that? That's Krishna. Also, we're dying. Here to, to bring you enlightenment. Uh, I'm gonna bust down on the secret herb. You guys do mind it. if I do some secret herb? Thank goodness. Hello. Silent meditation. Do it. He might heal you. Please don't bother him. I'm gonna save our game. And I'm gonna bother him! I'm bothering you! <laughs> Use your father botherment ray. I'm gonna use my soundstone. Enjoy the magnificence of my silver sounds. Is that a petri dish? I guess. I don't remember what it. Oh, footprints. That's what it was. Yeah. There's no response. There's no response! No. Okay, I think you should heal. Yeah, we need to. Uh, we need to find a hospital. <laughs> oh, 
Well, I can't hardly understand it, mister. I walked alone into the desert with two other children, and then some of us died. It's the weirdest thing. Yes, I would like to stay. But that, that doesn't, uh... What, okay, what... That, that'll get us our... What, help, right? Yeah. H Sleep. Our HP and PP are all back now. Oh, wait, so what does the hospital do? Uh, it'll revive these other two guys, because they're still ghosts. Oh, that's right. When you, when you, when you collapse in battle, you automatically appear at the hospital. That looks like an ambulance. Maybe that's a hospital. How the hell are we supposed to... Oh, I guess we gotta go around. Crap. I really don't want to walk all the way back to friggin' three. Let's see if we can make it. Okay. Leroy! I, I concur. Uh, bugger. I think the hole's gonna be. Oh, well. We're gonna have to come back to we, that. Do we know we don't have the item yet? That. We can look. Uh, what what would a what would a meditating you know neo spiritualist be you know some kind of like crystal or something? <laughs> we have previously established that crystals have po oh I wanted to get far away from that buffalo before I engaged it. Hello, Desert Wolf. Allow me to slap you upside the head with this bat. Dodged. Ain't nobody got time for that. And he did 47 damage to you. Good heavens. Flash him! Yeah. Take it. Huh. Oh, Jesus. Was that it? That, that might have been a, a... Quick! Use it! Uh, uh, uh. Bitch! Just gotta get it going. Ah, oh, there we go. Stop biting me! Yeah! In the friggin' mouth. Whoa. No! Fight that. Ah. Uh, they're still sweating, even in astral form. <laughs> Bust it up. No, die. Damn right. Stop fighting me. <laughs> By dying, preferably. <laughs> oh, hey, what's okay, up? Okay, you, oh. you, you, you could have gotten around that. It was kind of sluggish, but I think it still would have outrun me. I, well, I think you could have planned ahead. I think this, this is just going to be. This is gonna be bears all over again. I'm gonna give him the heavy business. Does running away ever work? I mean... I don't think we've ever tried. Because I assume it won't, and I assume it's just gonna get us killed. No matter what we do. Uh... I'm gonna hit him... Hit him, hit him once, once more, and then... Then go for the heal, I'd say. Yep. The heavy business. Bad buffalo. He's one bad yeah. buffalo. Yeah, no. Go in for the heal. Fortunately, Lars seems to uh, get one up on him. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Yeah. That wasn't bears again. Bears were a real bastard. Yeah. Well, we, we fought them too early, remember? Yeah. Like... A big old bottle rocket. All right. We're gonna need that. Oh, a building. Oh. And a mobster. 
Is it a mobster or an or a construction worker? <laughs> I don't know, dude. But this hole is great. <laughs> I sure do love holes. <laughs> Lady holes, I man holes. holes. I don't really care which one. That was horrible. I do have some food I, I can spare. Just a youngin. I love digging me some holes. Check out this double burger, yo. Big holes. Little holes. Deep holes. Shallow holes. He practically forced us to stay the night in his horrible little desert cabin. Where did he get the wood to build this place? I'm not complaining. Oh, this used to be a forest. Oh, okay. Did you know those, uh... Those tree-like... Cacti? What are they called? Saguaro? Yes. They take hundreds of years to grow. Really? Yeah. Holy crap. Uh, I remember... When I was in Arizona, I went on a bunch of, like... Nature preserves and stuff, and... I remember reading in the brochures that... The ones that are actually, like, any significant height have been there for hundreds of years. Something like 500 years. Oh my god. And I, I, remember, I remember thinking, man, when this cactus started growing, the conquistadors were conquering the Aztecs. No. Oh, he's stuck. Get out of there. <laughs> Behold, a tunnel. Nah, I out outwitted the buffalo. I'm going to Foreside, Nate. Nobody can stop me. Ghost can stop you. <sighs> fuck a ghost, man. No, you don't want to fuck a ghost. You get disease. <laughs> you get ghost IV. That's horrible. N no. That that's uh. not even a thing. <laughs> get real, idiot. Well, that bridge sure was picturesque, insofar it was the same sprite repeated several times. You get Spectrococcus. <laughs> Ectoplasmosis. Ecto- oh! I don't care what I have to do, we're- oh my god. Hey, reorient your map. Negative. I don't like all these diagonal roadways. I don't like having to press up and left at the same time. I mean, you're telling me, this this Xbox controller is like the worst D-pad in the universe. That sounds real expansive, but I bet there are very few D-pads in the universe. Yeah, it's basically this and the PlayStation 3, and that's about it. Hello, lady. Well, obviously there is, like, Sega Genesis and Nintendo and... Don't tell me about your false gods. I mean, the Nintendo D-pad is the Nintendo D-pad, and it's never changed, so... Yeah. That's that, but, uh... Alright, let's get out of here. So, hey, we made it to did, Foreside! Did Dreamcast have a joystick? Yes. I think it was one of the first systems to have it. Oh my god, is that... Uh... Another zombie. No one know anything. Grr. Uh... Monotoli? Leave me here to cry into my cappuccino with these horrible burns on my face. This is a walled God. city. Now is it walled in order to keep something out or keep something in? <coughs> I don't know. Uh let's talk to some of these citizens. Good citizen! 
I query you. Oh my god, there's a dinosaur museum. Don't do it. When you bet you're gonna have to fight dinosaurs in there. I'm willing to take that risk. <laughs> of course you are. Because I'm... Oh. <laughs> That's what you think, Lainey. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's go see the dinosaurs. Obviously, you haven't seen Night at the Museum. <laughs> Ooh. Mm-hmm. Yep. A foot. Okay. Yep. Another foot. Excellent. Thanks. <laughs> Does the sign say that? <laughs> <laughs> little, little editorializing from the people making the exhibits here. Oh, God damn, damn it. Designer has a, a bone to pick. No. 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 No, he does not. That's not... Nope. Uh, not at all. Mm -mm. <laughs> inappropriate! <laughs> Wildly inappropriate. I won't say Fuzzy Pickles, you rancid motherfucker. I haven't said that. You've been telling me to say that for months now. <laughs> I'm never gonna say that. <laughs> Dinosaur bones. Scarabba. Yeah. <laughs> so don't ask me any specific questions though, cause I kinda don't know shit about dinosaurs. Mr. Spoon! <laughs> I know what you did with the dish. <laughs> I heard what you did with the dish's wife. You sick bastard. Is there some kind of weird dinosaur conspiracy theorist? <laughs> yeah, we rode a dinosaur at one point, you know. <laughs> we rode a wall-eyed, retarded dinosaur. I guess a plesiosaur isn't isn't really a dinosaur, but it's dinosaur-like. It's got sore in the large, name. It's a large reptile, you know. Yeah, and. You know, that thing was kind of wall-eyed and had all kind of problems, so who knows what it really was. Dude, I was into that thing. <laughs> Bring Tessie, back that. Tessie, you're the greatest yeah. woman I, I ever knew. I really don't want to go back to that desert, but I think we have to. But I don't know Did why we would have to. Like, there, was a, there were more holes to be explored. Well, yeah, but, oh, there were, not just the one with, with the, uh... Yeah, there was the one with the gold miners next to it. I didn't want to go in because I didn't want to, I didn't want us to die. You don't, you don't think the item's gonna be in this town? Uh, maybe. I, I don't know who this Monotoli guy is, but I feel like we've skipped something by passing through the, uh... Desert. There's nowhere else to go besides the desert mirror, so maybe this is just our new base of operations for what operating about the in the desert. Store? Uh, strange happenings in the department store. Oh, it's closed. <laughs> <laughs> the sign just says that. Yeah. Temporarily closed. Prior. <laughs> and then that that ter that terrifying sound plays. Manitoli must be a dinosaur. How did you know my name? You said you checked it out, man. Fucking cop. Whatever cop. Checked it out. Where? <laughs> Where do you check something like that out? In this hellish world, at any drugstore, apparently. <laughs> uh. Whoa. I I'm here to stab Monotoli, I guess. <laughs> the guy just the referred elevator. to himself as an elite businessman. Get in the elevator, command it to go up. 
Then, as it's stopping, jump up in the air. Awesome. Or no, oh. that's when you command it to go down. Oh my Tell god. Kip there to Look. Send you up. What? The Pokemon. Oh god, Pokey? Is. Wait a minute. Oh dear. The world doesn't work like that, right? Ten year olds can't own department stores, right? <laughs> I think Pokey either is Manitol. I think Pokey is probably Gygas. We should have killed that motherfucker when we had the chance. That would be rather ironic and interesting if po if Pokey turned out to be the bad guy, <laughs> and, and we we spent the whole first part of the game saving him. Now see, now I know this game takes place in America. <laughs> <laughs> I welcome you to try, terrifying security man. I was gonna beat you up, but then I didn't. <laughs> That's very kind of you, large, beefy. Oh, nice suit, Pokey. That's not the real Pokey. Uh, hey, Pokey. Ooh la la. Hey, poor old friend. I'm I'm packing like seven G's in my pocket, dude. Yeah, Master P, my favorite recording artist. <laughs> Geldegard Monatoli. Uh, yeah, oh. I don't buy this for a second. I think you're getting played. Or we're getting shanghaied. Yep. Oh, no, hey, hey! Uh, what was that, I bitch have... nigga? You better back the fuck up before you get smacked the fuck up. Hello, Tubbs. Nope. Oh. No problem there. Aloysius Minch. Po hey, it's Pokey's dad. Ha! <laughs> 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 More laughing, you say. <laughs> Excuse me while I laugh. Extendedly. <laughs> Oh man, you better. Ooh. Not touching that. It was a 10 foot pole. Look at the painting. What? There was a painting in that room. What does that say? It's abstract. Check out, check out, check out how this, uh. It's like this <laughs> plant sprite is just sort of spreading into the wall. It's not a real palm tree, obviously. It's a hologram. <laughs> this whole building is a hologram. These men? Holograms. My hat? Hologram. <laughs> Your whole life is an illusion, Andrew. The Matrix has you. Needlessly complicated. The Plit Thawkins. <laughs> the Plesiosaur is still just as dumb as it was before. Hey, kid. Uh, let's check out this. Totally oh, bonkers. That guy we talked to in the desert at the gold mine said he would give us gold for food. So maybe we have to have, like, a hot stack of gold to get into Monotoli's place. Hmm. I don't have any tickets. Damn right I, I want like to buy a ticket. You think. Get the hell out of my way. I have my ticket give ready. Him, give him the, uh, backstage pass. We, uh, we put it in storage. Let's show him the ticket. The show will be starting any moment. I really hope it's that jazz band we saw before. <laughs> Hello, We're lady. just their groupies. What? Excuse me? No, no. <laughs> I 
The police probably would say that. I've, I've heard cops hey. say, hey, you guys. <laughs> You'd have to find buried gold, or you would never say uh, Okay. <laughs> I see where this is going. The, the, the gold is buried in the desert, and that's why we need to go back to the desert. Yep. So we have to get our map to the buried treasure. Oh my god. Look at this audience. Look at the, the benches that... This is the most, like, incredibly luxurious concert venue I've ever seen. Every single person gets their own individual couch. Hot damn. This is a Runaway 5 show. Well, neat. I'm watching. What up, fellas? The show. Oh, it is the same band. Alright, I love you guys. Uh, so, so to meet Montoli, we need their help. So we're gonna need a hot stack of gold to help these guys out. Alright. Yeah. I think we should watch the show <laughs> and then call it a night. He's <laughs> got a bombshell for you. They gave it a whole not a whole bullet. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Three, two, one, three, and two, and one, and go now. Jiggy, jiggy, one. Sit back and relax. Just hanging out back there. <laughs> it's doing something. <laughs> the symbol is the seventh member of the band. What are they doing? <laughs> the sax player is out of position. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Maybe this is supposed to be a sax solo. That's what's happening right now. Uh oh. Well, that was horrible. I don't know why this band is popular. They disappeared as quickly as they came. Later! Alright, I've, I've, I've seen enough. I'm ready to call it a night. How about you? Yeah. I think we should call our mom. Call our dad. The hell out of my way, white hair. Yeah, uh... We need to make a sticky note and put it on the phone. So when we join in next time, we see we know that we need to find a map and we need to go to the desert to dig up some treasure. Roger. The hotel will have all no, these facilities we can, and more. We, we should probably leave Roger buried. You know? Yeah. He's probably done a, quite a bit of decomposing by <laughs> now, so. Roger, you're gross. I can't exhume you, buddy, because you're gross. No, shut up. Call mom. Yeah. Success. Call her dad. What? Butler's face, or the, uh, <laughs> the the bellhop. Bellhop is what I, it's like. Gets me every time. <laughs> hey man, rock on. Hey, as long as you feel good about your work, that's all right. so we know when we pick up next time exactly where we need to oh maybe we can take the bus back to the uh 
fortuitously, a bus. Tucson via three. Yeah, let's do it. Wait, we don't need to go back to Tucson. Uh, and it's just by way of three, so I think this will take us. At least get us closer to where we need to be. Maybe we'll hit that traffic jam and stop. Also, we get this fly music. Check out that bass line. I like it. Whoa, what? What? The three caballeros there. <laughs> Yes, I do. Oh. I thought it would have taken you all the way back to three. Hey, g okay. going there appears to have destroyed the traffic jam. Awesome. I want to find out what was going on with those... Hey. Th them caballeros. I sure do like these rock formations. So beautiful. Pancho, Pincho, and <laughs> and Thomas Jefferson, I guess. Yes. Well, hell yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Oh no, I hear a beep. Pancho. Pincho, Thomas Jefferson. Oh, Thomas crap. without an H. Thomas Jefferson. Yes. Spin, you fools. Spin. What a job that must be. <laughs> well, now that we're afflicted by the heat stroke. Does the wet towel cure that? Yes. Okay. We figured that out? Yeah. Does each one have more than one use? Uh, nope. You just destroyed. So. Much like a real towel. Yes. As soon as you touch it to your body, it's vaporized. <sighs> are walking down the uh, middle of the highway. It's the only way to avoid sunstroke, man. Yeah. I guess we're gonna call it. I'm ready to call it. I think I think we have we have a lot to look forward to next episode. Yeah. Figure out what I wanna I'm ready to depose Pokey. Yeah I wanna I really wanna kick his ass. Later taters. Episode 22.